Well, hey guys, long time no talk. Um, I feel like it's really been a long time since I've got to sit down in front of the camera and just kind of share with you some things that are going on in my world. Um, I don't have long to film this because I hear Cole just wake up from his nap. It was way too short. Um, but I wanted to fill you in on some things that are going on and why I've been a little quiet here on YouTube. So... The main reason is, is because we have had really terrible internet for the past more than a month at least. Um, basically to the point where I couldn't even upload a video. Um, I was trying to go to the library to upload, but things kind of happened and I wasn't able to get that done. It was kind of straight up ridiculous. Um, I even used up kind of all the data on my phone plan in less than a month. Um, just refreshing pages, like just refreshing Facebook, refreshing my email, and things like that because we had no internet. And we called and they would um, fix something and then within five minutes it was just back to non-existent internet. And we don't have TV, so we just have Netflix and Roku, um, so we don't have like cable I mean. Um, and so like that wasn't even working and it was just, it was difficult. So, um, I am, I've missed a, watching a lot of videos and I've missed a lot of things that my friends here on YouTube have put out and um, I'm slowly trying to catch up um, watching all their content because I found some really good people. <laughs> and um, anyways, I listen, was listening to a lot of podcasts and I, I'm going to have a video up soon sharing with you um, just some of my favorite podcasts because I find them very encouraging and I think probably maybe you would too. Um, so that's kind of the big thing and reason why um, I wasn't around, just lack of internet. So um, Shane called uh, the other day and um, it got fixed and it's better than it even has been since we first got it. I mean, crazy, go figure. So it's been kind of refreshing and fun to visit the World Wide Web. <laughs> Um, so another huge major thing is that um, I've closed the doors of my Scentsy business. I think probably a lot of you have watched my video about why um, I closed my doors after about five years. Um, it wasn't an easy decision, but it was so right. And um, I'm filming this on September 7th, so I'm a few, I'm a week out from closing my doors, and it feels so good. Like, it just feels good. My news feed is clear um, and Facebook, and I just feel like a weight has been lifted. Um, when you're doing something that you were not meant to be doing, um, even though it's amazing and good, uh, it's just not right. <laughs> and so you feel some kind of pressure, and I felt that pressure, and um, now I feel free. <laughs> Um, anyways, there was a whole lot of crazy amazing things that happened as a result of closing my doors and when I made the announcement uh, that I was shutting down my business, things started to happen in our world and dreams that I never could have even put words to are starting to come to pass. Those things that you, in your wildest dreams, want to happen, but they're so audacious that you don't even dare put words to them for fear that they would never happen, and because they just do sound so audacious. Um, those things are starting to come to pass, and it's blowing my mind. I mean, I cannot even begin to tell you. It's just unbelievable, and, um, you know, I truly believe that I was following... God in complete obedience and closing my doors and taking a giant step of faith and it's kind of like when Moses like put his toes into the Red Sea and the Red Sea began to part he actually had to put his foot into the water first before the seas began to part and God just didn't open up the waters initially Moses had to have an act of faith and step out into the water before the waters would part and that is what I feel like has been happening in my world is that I had to put my toe into that Red Sea and waters are beginning to part and it's just incredible. 
Of course there are things that I kind of just can't, you know, share right now, but when I'm able to and when things kind of start moving in the direction that it looks like they're lining up to go, of course you guys will know um, as soon as I can tell you. But just keep praying for us because we are feeling those prayers. We are feeling them. And it is just incredible. Um, another amazing thing is that Shane is working, which is so good. We are coming off a nine month layoff and it's just, it's incredible the timing of it all because um, at the end of August we were, we had made the decision that we were going to put, that Shane was going to get his travel card and that meant that he could um, travel out of our city and go f look for work. Um, He's in a union, so they, you know, provide jobs, like, all over Canada, um, and so he was looking to go to Calgary, Alberta. He was literally sitting at our kitchen table and putting in the call to join up. He'd already spoken with the foreman. Um, the plan was in place for him to go to Calgary, and that meant that he would be leaving our home, because that's in another province. It's, like, hours and hours and hours away and he would be gone minimum four weeks. So um, he was literally sitting at the kitchen table getting ready to put that plan into action and he got a call to be a journeyman here on a job in town. And that meant he gets to pick his crew and he's at working, working at least until February, so it's a longer job, which is just incredible. and. The amazing thing is, is that he got this job a week, um, a week before the end of August. So I was done being a consultant um, the last day of August. September first was my official day that I was no longer a consultant. But um, a week before all that, a week before I had no income coming in, um, he gets an incredible job, and it's just the way that God's been working in our life and. As we're stepping out in obedience, like things are starting to come to pass, and it's it's been quite mind blowing. So we're excited for that. He's gone kind of all day. He leaves early in the morning and uh, doesn't get home till a bit later um, than he had been with like a previous job. But and we miss him a lot because it was really nice having him home uh, all that time. But we are so thankful, so thankful that he's working and we're looking forward to kind of life getting back on track. The other really cool thing is Aubrey started school today. She is in first grade and we are so excited. Um, the class that she's in, they actually had to um, make a whole other first grade class because there were so many um, kindergartners, so many first graders former kindergartners who were enrolling as first graders that they had to build like a whole other class. So um, the teacher was hired yesterday, the day before school, and um, I met her very briefly this morning and she seems nice. So hopefully this will be a great year for Aubrey. She's so excited. So she got a cute little haircut. It's kind of short in the back and longer in front and she feels like a grown up little kid and she looks like it too. So she's doing great. Colt's doing really well. His speech is coming along quite a bit. Um, we go for another speech appointment for him next month and they'll kind of evaluate and see where he is at in the realm of being a two year old two and a half year old in speaking so I can still tell his mom that he's still got a long ways to go but he's getting there so that's kind of exciting. Other than that um, our dog B is going to have puppies. Shane, my husband does, um, he raises competition hunting dogs and we've got five right now and part of it is that um, he breeds our our one dog um, and we have lots of people who want puppies from her because of her lines and how great she is so this is her fourth and final litter um, so we're gonna have puppies probably next month I'm thinking yay psych <laughs> um, anyways I am just about out of time here so I'm gonna sign off for now those are our major updates and I've got lots of videos filmed so hopefully I'm gonna be able to get some content out to you guys I've really 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 miss you and I want to thank you for all of the comments and the messages that I've got from you guys you guys make this YouTube thing so much fun I hope you guys have a really great day and I will chat with you soon
拜。